this is your girl Danny, aka A Drive, with my lovely husband Dan, aka A Drive, and Lily at our feet. <laughs> oh, there she is. Jeez, dog, I swear you gained like 10 pounds. And we are bringing you the finale. The finale of the Love Lock. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final episode <laughs> of the Love Lock. Whatever happens here is where it ends, regardless. And we are going to be taking on the champion here momentarily. So is your team all healed up? You ready to rock? It is. I'm yes. so ready to rock as well, guys. We do have our question of the day today. And if you guys want to hit that like button for one last time here on the Love Lock, if you guys get a lot of support, we may do another one one day. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But we do have a question today. How would you rate this Let's Play on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being it was the greatest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. 1 being Dan quit YouTube forever. Um, that's, a, that's quite a mighty scale. Yeah, well, you gotta really encompass everything. Um, and more so than just leaving a number rating, give us why you gave that rating, you know what I'm saying? So let's let's jump into it, let's do it. You wanna do it together? Let's go. Is your character move? Okay, there we go. There it is, into the Champions Hall for Mr. Steven Stone, let's do this. Oh, spoilers, Steven Stone is the champion. But we are gonna do this. I'm excited, a little nervous, because uh, Steven's team is like really powerful, but I think we can make it work, so. We're gonna do our best here. And there he is, Mr. Steven Stone, waiting, anticipating, ready for us. It's time. I'm a little ahead of you. Twins. Twinskies. Twinsies. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's like mildly not synced, so it's kind of obnoxious, but it, it's okay, we'll survive. Well, you're always in such a rush. Well, you gotta take on, you know, the guy. Welcome, Dan. Me. <laughs> I was hoping I would get to see you here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? Have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? How have you felt? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it woken something inside you? I want you to come at me with all you've learned. My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all that we know. Dun dun dun, let it begin! All right, so Danny is ready, I'm ready. Steven, the Pokemon League Champion, we are here for your title, your championship, my friend. And we're gonna make it happen. So Skarmory is his lead here. Very, very scary to face Skarmory, but... Oh, uh, he must have Steel Wing. He does have Steel Wing, our <laughs> favorite move from the playthrough. I actually was looking through my team, and I have nothing to beat Skarmory, so we're just going to rock it. So he's Steel and it Flying. Happen. Yep. And apparently Adele is good against that. Okay. Uh, so am I hyper-voicing? Okay, so think about what's good against Steel types in terms of the moves you have. Fire. Yes, like fire, fire melts steel. Correct. <laughs> I don't know if that's real at all. So but. I know just a lot of insight about this, so I'm actually going to give you the tip to go for Surf first. Sure. And then use Overheat on the following turn. Skarmory has an ability that makes it so it can live one hit if it's at full health. Mm -hmm. So it actually just in this case is a very unique situation where you're going to just want to weaken it a little bit, and then you want to knock it out with the Overheat. That way he won't heal up. So now you'll go for Overheat. And you so now every time someone up. comes in, they're going to get hurt by those spikes. Correct. So they just set the them against game. me too. Yep. So you actually missed, unfortunately, the... Oh. Um, Why did he just throw them again? There's already spikes scattered here. I know. They can go up to three layers of spikes on the field. So you didn't miss this time. That should destroy him. How did Boom. I miss? Uh, it's not 100% accurate move. Grr. Oh man! All right, I'm uh I'm struggling against the scummer here. I'm gonna use a full. No, I'm gonna use a full restore. All right, what's the next Pokemon that they're sending out against you? We'll have to strategize here. He's gonna send out an Agron. So Agron, I don't know if you know what it is, but it's a Steel and Rock Pokemon. So you have one Pokemon on your team that is amazing against Agron. I'll let you guess what it is, and then I'll tell you. Well, there's it's a few steel actually. And what? Steel and Rock. So you actually have a few Pokemon that can like really destroy it. But there's one in particular that I'm thinking of that I think would be a great Pokemon to send out Montana. here. Montana? Yep. There you go. Look how low her level is. That's okay. You have a very big advantage from a type perspective. All right, so I got three layers of spikes sitting in front of me. This is not what I wanted to start um, this battle I've with. I've got two of them coming in on, right? Yeah, so it's going to do... You're going to take a little bit of damage on entry. That's not fair. That's how it works. All right, so what I'm gonna recommend- Is there recommend, anything you can do to get rid of the spikes? Uh, Defog and Rapid Spin, but none of our Pokemon know those moves. Hmm. In competitive, it would be something we would typically have, but all right, so there's one move that you always wanna go for first, right? There it is. All right, I'm about to face a Cradilly here. What do I wanna do against the Cradilly? <laughs> mm. 
there was not very effective at all. So now I can close combat. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, the reason why I told you to fake out there is he also has sturdy, so he can live one hit from full two. But now he, even though you You're really did... gonna make the match take longer when you explain when I just ask a question, you can just say yes. Yeah, close combat. Close combat is good against both rock and steel. I'm always afraid, steel. even while you're while you're lecturing me, because sometimes at the end you lecture you go, you know what? Switch. Do do this. Do that. So I just wait here and listen to your entire lecture, and then you're done like eight years before me. And I kind of want us to beat Stephen at the same time, Dan. Mm hmm. That's what I've learned from this playthrough. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I'm glad you're enjoying. I also have really low health right now. Yeah. Well, you can switch. Wants to learn reversal? No, I wouldn't teach you reversal. It did nothing. This Cradilly is powerful. No boost. Oh, he gets the boost! Come on! You gotta be kidding me. Claydol, is that what you're fighting? No. Claydol is psychic and ground type. Psychic and ground. So what's good against ground? Think of it that way. Water? Yep. But, so should I use Guppy? Yeah, I would say so. I think Guppy's good. You could also Mega Evolve Guppy too. I would do that. Please hit through Confusion, please. Nope. I love how he gets the boost too. I just love Will it. Will flying Pokemon not get hit with the spikes? Uh, correct. If they levitate, they don't get affected by it. I did a full restore. I thought that... Restores all their moves, too. Oh, no, it doesn't restore the moves. Oh. Um, so should I Waterfall? Yep, he's weak to water, so Waterfall's a good move. You'll probably knock him out in one hit, actually, I would guess. Because I'm, like, almost out of Waterfalls. Yeah, we should have restored that, but I think we can make it through I didn't the realize that. Yeah, I didn't either. It's okay. I think it would just knock him out. All right, cool. Yeah, Cradilly is, uh, or I'm sorry, Claydol is not very strong. It's more bulky than strong. Jeez. Just should have knocked it out, that's funny. Um, Alright, I gotta deal with Agron, AGG Ron. How do I beat Agron? Mm. Cradilly, that's what you were just fighting. Yeah. So it's what? Oh, uh, so Cradilly is grass and rock. So water is not good against grass. Correct. So grass and rock. Mm, Adele in their in her fire move. Mm, that could work. I would actually recommend uh, just beating it with strawberry. Just attacking a bunch with strawberry. Um, I would say that's a probably a good idea. I'm actually really worried about this aggro right now against my septile. It's gonna stone edge. I hope I can live this. We can. Whew. I assume you're switching now. No, I'm gonna knock him out on the next hit. Well, he switched, surprisingly. I didn't even know he did that. And he goes into Claydol, of course. With Levitate. This man predicted me right there. I just got predicted. All right, so what am I doing? Dragon Pulsing him? I would actually go for Psychic. It does the same amount of damage, um, but you have a chance to lower his special defense with Psychic, whereas Dragon Pulse doesn't have any additional effects. See, you got the spit off drop. <laughs> exactly what I said. Oh, we confused me. Damn. Uh, you could choose to either use a full restore or you could try to fight through it once and go for psychic anyway. It'll keep lowering his thing? Uh, it's a 10% chance to lower him. You hit yourself in confusion. It happens. It happened to me How too. How long do I have before I need to switch out? So it's a 25% chance to break out of confusion every turn, I think, and then there's a 25% chance to hit yourself. No, or 50% chance to hit yourself, something like that. So yeah, you snapped out, you're good. I meant like before this, this, will this little Pokemon destroy me or no? Will this, uh, no, I think you could beat it. You could just full restore if he um, hits you again. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Yeah, I would, I would uh, go for the full restore here. Instead of just finishing him off. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what? You could you could go for the um. You could try to finish him off. That's fair. Oh. What did he use the potion? He used a full restore. I'm gonna use one on Romeo here. 
I'm trying to play this safe here. All right, now I have to. Now you have to, yeah. Crush Claw. Now we eating that. I really wanted to get um, a ninja in here to set up on Steven, but it's like too hard. All of his Pokemon have rock moves or flying moves. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I got the flinch. Let's go. Hit him with a surf, baby. Oh, he goes for force. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. I might actually. I'm trying to figure out how to how to beat this incoming Metagross. You confused me again. Oh, he's got light screen. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna use a Lepiberry in battle right now. Do I want to do that? Ancient power. I'm actually gonna use an X defense. I'm gonna make the plays, guys. I'm making the plays, A Drive Army. Come on. I'm using next defend here. No <sighs> problem, I'm gonna use an X attack as well. We're just gonna boost it up here, baby. That's what Go these... home. <laughs> That's what these stats are for, right here. Bam. Eating that crush claw. Oh, of course he gets a defense drop. Armaldo. Yeah, I'm facing that guy right now. So Armaldo's bug and rock. Bug and rock. Adele? <laughs> mm -hmm. Bug. Well, because fire can burn bugs. What's good against rock? Fighting. What else is good against rock? Guppy, water's good against rock. Which doesn't make any sense to me because it's not like water breaks rocks down. That's just how it is. Water's just good against rock. It's not, though. Rock, water's not good against rock. Rock pokes holes in water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waterfall. You might actually just knock him out one hit, too. In fact, I think you probably will. Boom! Get out of my house! Get out of Danny's house! That's quick. Alright, I think we're both down to the final Pokemon, but this one is a, uh, it's a toughie. Oh, did you wait for me? No, I'm, I'm trying to get through this myself. Hopefully without any issues. In comes Metagross. My answer to Metagross will be... Can oh, we... good old Metagross. What do I beat Metagross with? Synchronoise. Who wants to learn it? I don't know. Oh, uh, Lugia? Uh, or um, Latios? Actually, you know what? That's kind of a cool move, but at this point, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think you just win if you click Earthquake with Guppy here. Like, so I would just not worry about it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to beat this dude, because... Oh, it was Adele. Oh, it was Adele? Oh, then don't worry about it. How do I beat this Metagross right now? Do I switch? No, you just stand in Earthquake. You're good. You're good to go. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Is that the shiny one or no? No. No. Right? no. I had the shiny one. All right, I'm conflicted here. I have a really, like, Steel types just beat me so bad. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Casper and hope I can live a hit. Uh-oh, he may good. I know. Is he going to outspeed me and kill my... My guppy? No, you actually you actually outspeed him and you'll probably just knock him out. Uh, he may live. Yeah, he's gonna live a little bit there. Oh no, I'm nervous. No, nah, you'll live as that headbutt. I'm not fully... Ah! You're good. Okay, oh. I'm gonna give you a pro tip though. What? Um, Restore? Uh, no, I think you can Earthquake because I don't believe he has... Um, I think I'm about to lose Casper, by the way. I'm just gonna let you know now. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I don't know how I beat this thing. I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp and hope I don't get destroyed here. Um, so the only thing I'm worried about is he has a move called Bullet Punch. I don't know if this Metagross has it, but typically Metagross have it. So full restoring is a safe play because then you'll make sure that uh, I think we're about to lose Casper. <sighs> Sorry. Bye, Wendy. Casper and Wendy go down. Um, yeah, it's the safest thing to do, I would say. So right after this, we, well, so they're still going to show up in our, like, yeah, that's little fine. montage and stuff. Poor little guys. Yeah, using on Guppy. 
No, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to our loss. He full restored too. All right, I'm gonna go into Romeo here. I think that's what I have to do. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. Okay, um, I am gonna go for a full restore on Romeo and see how much he does when he attacks me. Giga Impact. Oh, please go for Giga Impact against me. Yes, he did. Oh God, he crit me! What? He crit me. I don't think I could beat him. I think I'm gonna lose. All the Pokemon? Yeah, I don't know how I beat this thing. I really don't, I'm being serious. Um, I, I don't know how I can beat it. I can, no, it doesn't work. I don't know, hon. I go into Geico and Earthquake. Um, Isn't that what you just made me use? Yeah, but Earthquake does way more from you than it would for me. Oh. That's the problem. I don't know what to do here. I gotta go into Geico. And I gotta go for Earthquake. Don't you need to full restore first? No, I'm gonna Earthquake first because he he uh, he went for a move that makes it so he can't attack on the next turn. So I'm Earthquake and then I'm gonna full restore. Oh boy. And that does peanuts. He's gotta recharge, I'm gonna go for full restore. Heal up. But if he Giga Impacts again and crits me, I, I, I just die, I think. Well, he can't crit you twice, right? Yeah, he can. Was, uh, he's gonna bullet punch, that's fine. Oh my god, that's so much. That's so much. I gotta full restore again. Um, I'm gonna go into Blueberry. I'm gonna go into Blueberry. I gotta get him to Giga Impact again. I basically, I think the only way I could beat this Metagross is if it Giga Impacts and doesn't kill me and just gives me free hits off on it multiple times in a row. There's a Giga Impact. Oh. 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 Um, I'm gonna Dragon Breath and hope for the Paralysis. Come on, give me that Paralysis, baby. Isn't he, you're gonna let him kill you? No, I'm gonna heal up. Oh. All right, I could be, I could beat him with blueberry. I could beat him with blueberry here. I think, maybe, maybe. I mean, how many more four stars will he use? I don't know how many he's gonna use. He crit me again. <laughs> oh my god, why is Steven so hard right now? I lost two Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Lily, we need your luck. Okay, get in fact, perfect. Just keep, just don't crit me this time. Oh my god, this thing is so scary! Okay, now I know roughly how much it does. I'm gonna Dragon Breath. He's gonna recharge. I need this paralysis so badly. As a crit. Yep. No para. Okay, I gotta... I gotta full restore again. Please, okay, Steven, I hope he does not full restore. I hope he does not full restore. If he doesn't full restore, I might be okay. He's gonna get impact again. I can take it. Uh, living on 51. Blueberry. I need you, Blueberry. Dragon Breath. He's got to recharge. Uh, so close. Yeah, I got the para. Okay. Okay, please, Steven. Hi, Lily. Thanks for looking right here. <laughs> Steven, please don't use a forest store. You already used one earlier. I used a forest store. The reason why I healed there, guys, is because I'm worried about bullet punch right now. He used Giga Impact again. As long as he doesn't crit me, we're good. He doesn't crit me. Please don't use a forest store, Steven. Yes! We did it. We did it. We are the Pokemon League champions. My goodness, I definitely thought I was about to lose that Metagross, guys. Well, rest in peace to Romeo and Juliet and Casper and Wendy. Casper, Wendy, Romeo, Juliet, you guys are legends. You held it down as best as you could. And we're gonna make it happen. Whew! That was scary. You happy, everyone? We lost Pokemon. <laughs> that crit, man, I got a crit by Azumarill. All right. Oh, you gotta press the buttons. I was waiting for you so uh, that we could do it together. Sorry, you were playing with Lily. Just as I have come to expect, Danny, you're a truly excellent Pokemon trainer. Congrats to you and thank you. I had wanted to learn how you feel about this world, what kind of ideals you have developed with your Pokemon. I feel that I was able to find the answer in our battle. The feelings you have for your Pokemon and the way that your Pokemon gave their feelings 
uh, yeah. Those two created the great power. That's how you seize victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met, and now I know for sure that feeling was not misplaced. You are rightfully the Hoenn's new. Dan, wait! I've got some advice you've got to hear before challenging the champion. Oh, wait. You're the champion. How did she get in here? Like, what are you even doing here, lady? We didn't invite you. Oh, here's the professor. I thought that was a lady. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Dan, you've finally done it. Danny, you've done it. When I've heard you defeated your own father in Petalburg, I thought you had a chance, and now you're the champion. Dan, I should call you the champion. Come with me into my lair of championshipness. I'm very sorry, but only a trainer who's a champion can come in here. I love that. <laughs> Getting champion blocked right there. All right, now we get to get to reminisce here with our lovely, lovely champions and stuff. Saving the game. It's official now. We're champions. This room is where all the cool people wait, hang Wait, wait for me. Wait. Oh, I, I didn't realize. <sighs> Don't be mad at me. I'm not looking at both screens right now. 36 things in here, episodes, and you still yell at me for not knowing all the Pokemon types. All right. Wait, you don't know all the Pokemon types? What's good against what? And you're like, come on, there's so many episodes in, you should know this. Well, no, you I've can't even remember to wait for me! I'm trying to help you along. <laughs> Let's look at our nice little montage here. Oh, that are off by a second. The Hall of Fame. Rest in peace, Romeo. Aww. Adele holding it down. Rest in peace, Casper. Strawberry being a legend. Guppy and Geico making it all the way. Wantana making it all the way. Blueberry making it all the way. Guppy, the legend. Oh. Wingman, yep. rest in peace, Juliet. A Ninja, rest in peace, Wendy. And there it is. We have done it. We are the Pokemon League champions. Good job. So, to Oh, I want to take a picture of this. Oh, yeah, take a picture. All right, right. everyone, smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, typically at this point, guys, uh, there is a very long cutscene that goes on, and then there's a match against May and Brendan or whatever, which is actually really easy. It's a really <laughs> easy match, so I think we're gonna cut that part out. I don't really think... <laughs> I don't really think there's any point in doing that, if I'm being completely honest, so um, do you have any... Do you, do you want to do that? Probably not, right? It doesn't matter at this point. We, we did our goal. We got the championship. We beat the champion, and here we are standing at the very top. So guys, seriously, thank you so much for all the love and the support in this series, 36 episodes of awesomeness. I really hope you enjoyed me and Danny kind of sharing a little bit of our lives and our relationship on the channel. And I hope you feel that you got to get to know both of us a little bit better and kind of understand how we are with each other and stuff because we're definitely pretty doofy, but uh, mostly me. Um, but that is that, guys. I, I really hope you did enjoy the Let's Play and I want to thank everyone who supported and watched it and everyone who's been messaging me saying, when's the next Love Lock and all that stuff. We'll keep you guys posted, but it's probably going to be a while, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but I think that's it, Danny. So I think we can kind of wrap it up here. Do you want to take us out for the last time, oh. hon? Oh. Mwah. What do I usually say? This is your girl, Just, Danny. That's where you start? Oh, okay. I always feel like that. Yeah, I guess you kind of did the whole summary thing. This is your girl, Danny, a.k.a. A-Drive. And this is Dan, a.k.a. A-Drive. And we will catch you guys in whatever the next thing we do together is. Peace. Peace. <laughs>